Hey guys, welcome to another pack opening video. In this one, we're going to be opening up some Evolving Skies build and battle kits, which are these ones, and we've got some McDonald's booster packs. McDonald's is pretty nice how they let you buy the packs without having to buy the Happy Meals because it's pretty unhealthy having to eat hundreds and hundreds of Happy Meals trying to complete the card set. And we've also got Alugia here. First edition, PSA 8. Very expensive but stunning card. With that swirl in the center, absolutely beautiful. But it's not just these. We've also got 22 Evolving Skies booster packs to get through. So a lot of stuff to open up today. And we'll start with just with the uh, Maccas packs, I think. See how we go with those, get into the build and battle kits, and then straight to the booster packs. So this is probably going to be a long video, stick around to the end if you want to see a summary of everything, or just skip to the end if you want to see a summary of the pulls. Now the cool thing about these um, Macca's booster packs is they come with some other stuff too, like you've got, this looks like a, a deck box. Or a picture frame holder or something and then you've got stickers and some other stuff so this is the one I got last week which comes with a bunch of stickers which is pretty cool actually pretty like good quality looking stickers so every booster pack will come with four cards and they're all just starter Pokemon from different generations one of them will be a holographic and the rest won't and for every normal card in this set there's a holographic version so there'll be 25 normal cards and 25 non-holographic cards okay that's interesting it's got the holographic straight on the front there let's try and pull this out without damaging it okay that went all right so we got a Litten, Poplio and Snivy if you are familiar with um, Pokemon cards, these are actually the exact same ones that have existed before. So this is a this is one from Black and White. This is from Sun and Moon base set, and this is also from Sun and Moon base set. So McDonald's have just taken existing cards and reprinted them. Just gonna pull out a pack of a couple of packs of sleeves here, just to sleeve up these hollows. So we got a Squirtle, which is actually really cool. It's one of the more popular ones. People really like the, the base set stuff. Just having a look on the front, this would be one of the rarer ones because it's not actually scratched. Most of the McDonald's cards are scratched on the front because they're stuck to the packet. So this is a really good quality one, so that's nice. Got a Squirtle. What do we get in the next pack? Let's check this one out. Oh, I thought that said Charmander. That would have been so cool. Looks like we got a... Totodile. So the cards still do stick to the packet. You're getting like the ever so slight silvering maybe here. If you can see the little silver spot in the light just below the T in the under the 10. But that's okay, it's not too bad. Put a little sleeve in that one. Totodile. That looks like it's one printed from Phantom Forces in 2016. I remember when I was collecting that set, that was a fun set. And then we got four fire types. So that's pretty cool, all reds. Interesting. Alrighty, over to the Build and Battle kits. So these are from Mr. Toys. They don't sell these in the other shops yet. EB Games will be getting them in October. I'd love to get a full case of these at some point and just keep them sealed because they're very good investment items. I'll show you why in a second. Let's just open these up. So it's $40. Uh, it comes with four booster packs and a Build and Battle kit, which contains um, one of four different promo cards and the promo cards are Moltres, Articuno or Zapdos and then the fourth one is Flaffy. 
Let's see what we get here. Hopefully it's not another Flappy. Cool, we get a Moltres. So if you're familiar with Moltres, Moltres is usually red and on fire. This is a different Moltres. So just imagine like you've got alligators and crocodiles, crocodiles in Australia, alligators in the United States. This Moltres is from a different region, so it's like a different version of the same species, different branch. Really cool how they've added this sort of variant into the Pokemon hobby. We get four booster packs as well. I'll open them all up together. Let's see what we get in this pack. Another Moltres. <laughs> so out of all of the promo cards you can get, if you're playing the game, the Moltres is one of the better ones you can get because um, the Dark Type decks are really strong at the moment and it has a very good attack and a very good ability. So I'll pull all of these out. So also in the box you get a little list that tells you what's in the set. So you can sort of like just tick them all off as you're completing the set. I don't use this because there's actually better ways of doing it. You can use the um, Pokelector app on your, on your phone. Let's jump into some of these packs. Because we've got a lot of packs to open. If it's not a white code, I'm not going to do the pack trick. So we've got a slacking. Smeargle. Rever These are just reverse hollows. Wow, so this box had three green codes, which means you're just getting just reverse hollows. Nothing really that exciting. This is the last pack. Hopefully it's a white code. Yes. Okay, white code. White code card means there's something good at the back. Feel the suspense. We've got Phoebus, Hippopotas, Lil Pop. Nick Hicked, Hitmonchan, it's a V, Trevenant V, cool, I don't have that one yet, it's nice, let's put that in a sleeve, so let's put this in a sleeve so it doesn't get damaged, okay, next we have the other four packs from the other box. Another green code. It's another Gigalith. Green code again. Crustle. Last two packs from the second box. Hopefully we get a white code soon. Another green code. Tentacruel. Please, white code, come on. Don't be a really terrible box. Okay, we got a white code here. One, two, three, four. And whatever this last card is, it's really, really glossy on the back compared to the ones before it. Let's check this one out. Ooh. I think it might just be a hollow. Let's see. Stormy Mountains, Shelgon. Ice Cute Cutie Fly, Hitmonchan, Lotad, Sableye, Teddy Ursa, Ampharos, and a Jumpluff Hollow. Nice. Okay, I needed this one as well. I traded this with my, my mate's girlfriend. She wanted the Jumpluff Hollow, and I thought I'd, I'd eventually pull another one, so I gave her mine. And I finally pulled, the, pulled it back, so that's good. That's the one I needed. Cool. Now, what do we have left? We've got 22 blister packs. I found these at Kmart. Target had some Pokemon cards, but nothing from the newer sets. And I had a couple of gift vouchers I needed to use, so I used my ones from Kmart. I find that these blister packs have better pull ratios than booster boxes when opening them up in like larger amounts. 
So hopefully we're getting some good stuff. And a white code for the first pack is very nice. Let's see how we go. I think there's something there. Looks like a normal V. Maybe hoping for a Rayquaza. Haven't caught that one yet. There's got an Eevee and a second Trevenant. That's okay. Doubles are fine. After all, this is a trading card game. You can trade with your friends. Twenty-two packets. Second pack, green code. We've got a Timpole and an Altaria. So in the build and battle kits, we were pretty dry on white code cards, but we're certainly pulling it back here with the normal packs. Here we've got a, by the looks of it, is a hollow. Lucky Ice Pop and Florgis. I don't remember if I have this one or not. Nice to get another white code and another pull. The pack number three or four now, I think. Oh, wow, more white codes. So good. One, two, three, four. And there is something here. There is something good here. Something good. What is it? Skip Blue and Pet Lil. Kraganol, Bergmite, Drowsy, Scraggy, Kyrim, Volcarona V. Pulling a fair few of the Vs today. If we could get a VMAX. Full arts, alternate arts, that would be amazing. Fantastic. Absolutely over the moon if that was the story. Green code for that one. So we get a Woobat. Love disc in a green code for that one as well. Oh, we've got a white code card here. I have a feeling this one's going to be really good. Whatever this one is. Green shell gone lombre marip. A Wobbuffet, Love Disc, Dwebble, Hippos, Reverse. Is a Raichu, I needed this one. And we got a Leafeon V. Very good, really happy with this pull because we got the Reverse Hollow I needed. Very nice. And there's nothing wrong with a good old Leafeon V as well. So in the whole pack opening today, it would be totaling 30 packs and just short of a booster box. I'm gonna try and see if we can get the same, if not better, with booster box pulls. So hoping for a couple of full arts and V maxes, hopefully. Okay. Some of these are really difficult to open. The Rayquaza pack, which is a green code card. 
dino and a flapple. The rally don pack looks like a skyscraper, and we got a white code. Let's check the back out. Whatever this is, it's a little bit off center, and it's something really good. So this is going to be like a VMAX or better, whatever this is, it's going to be really good. Okay, I'm excited. Spirit Mask, Gordy, Bravery, Teddy Ursa, Marip, Zorua, Tentacle, Dino, Gordy. Just going to get a sleeve ready for whatever this next card is. Oh! A rainbow leafy on V Max. Wow, that's really good. And I already have this card too, which is such a shame. Ah, oh, I've already got this card, but it's such a rare pull. Wow, that's so nice. Very, very nice pull there. Wow. Alrighty. Got the Rayquaza pack next. Another white code. And put it at the back. Whatever this is, it's really, really off center. Something really weird. It it's like textured, but it's white. It's so weird. I don't know what this is. Like, what's textured and white? Like, it doesn't have a gold border, so it can't be a gold card. I'm gonna get the sleeve ready. I don't know what this is, but it's gonna be something. Aroma Lady, Sun and Moon Badge, we've got Hippopotas, Lily Pop. Nick Icked, Bergmite, Swablu, Flaffy Reverse, that's good. It's a uh, full art something. Oh, no way! <laughs> oh, yes! We got the Rayquaza VMAX! The alternate Rayquaza! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Holy shit! Holy shit! This is the $700 card right here. Oh my god, I'm fucking shaking. Oh! Oh! oh. Look at this! Oh, the centering is just a little bit off on the front. And the back, but I can't believe it, we got it! We got the Rayquaza VMAX. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, if anyone doesn't know, this is my this is my all-time favorite Pokemon. And this card here is like the hardest one to get in this whole set. Oh, I can't believe that. I can't believe this. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> yes, that's so good. Oh, I don't even want to open up any more packs now. It's just, I just want to like sit and enjoy this moment. That is so nice. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Got to keep going. Almost through. Almost through. That's it. That was, that was it. That's, that was my card. I wanted the only one I wanted. The only one I wanted for this set. Whatever this card is, it's also pretty off-center, and it's textured, so we'll see what this one is. Herdier, Pyroar, Rog and Roller, Warbuffet, Hopip, Swablu, Zorua, Wishy Washy, Sinia's Resolve, Hyper Rare. Wow, that's really good as well. We're doing really good on the pulls today, guys. Wow. Oh my god, that is fantastic. Oh wow. Wow. Wow, that is amazing. Two hyper rares and the Rayquaza V Max. Oh, <laughs> this is so good. I can't believe this. I can't believe that. The Rayquaza V Max is just sitting there in front of me. If I never pulled this card, I'd have to save up for weeks 
to just buy it outright for like $700 to finish this set. This is insane. Umbreon pack. We got the green code. It's a Lombre and a Stoutland. Wow. Have another look at this. No way. No way, I still can't believe that happened. Oh, I still can't believe that happened. The luck, the luck today is insane. Okay, we got a white code. So there's something in this pack. Let's check the centering on the back. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it's textured. Guys, we're in a in the pack magic now. What have we got? Ice Q, full face guard, Hitman Chan, Slack Off, Pet Lil, Pikachu, Pump Kaboo, and Rescue Carrier. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna lift it up a tiny bit. See what color it is. Gold, okay, gold, gold from the top. Gold again, okay. Let's lift, let's go down a bit more. See, is it a trainer, an energy, or a Pokemon? It's an item? It's an item, okay. Um, full face guard, I'm, I'm going for. Not nah, toy catcher. That's still pretty good. We got a secret rare toy catcher. Oh, wow, I can't believe this. We're, make, we're getting all the pulls today still. We're getting all of the pulls today. Wow. VMAX Rayquaza Ultra. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, so good. So good. Okay, we got a green. So we get the Dream Ball and Gigalith. I think there's maybe like eight packs left or so to open. It's another green code. What do we get? A shopping center and a pincer. Yep, so six packs left. And we pulled one alternate art. The best one in the whole set. The best card. The most expensive card. Alright, here we got another green code. Got a Gigalith and a Lilligant. Got a green code again. Slack off in a shift tree. Got four packs left. <clears throat> four packs left. Pumpkaboo and a flapple. And next we have. Last couple of packs. Floet and Appleton. Two packs left. <clears throat> See if we can get a white code or two in the last two packets. It'd be pretty cool to get a VMAX. Haven't got a VMAX yet. Usually get two VMAXs in a booster box. Here's a white code. This card here is really off center, whatever that is. And it's textured. Guys, we might be getting another big hitter here. Darkness Energy, Rescue Carrier, Crystal Cave, Avalog, Wubat, Eevee, Tim Pole, Cutie Fly, Applin, Swubat, and. Oh! No! What? 
Another alternate art! Espeon V alternate art. Oh! <laughs> That's crazy! Look at this! Oh my god, what the heck? Espeon V alternate art. That's beautiful. That is a beautiful card. Wow. We pulled two hyper rares, a secret rare, and two alternate arts. We didn't even get any of the boring stuff. It was just all big hitters today. Okay, and the last pack is... One last pack today. Got a green code. And it's Stormy Mountains and a Smeargle. Guys, let's, let's go for a recap. Just a quick recap of the pulls. Okay, what did we get? From the Build and Battle kits, we had a Trevenant and a Jumpluff, which was surprisingly the only hollows. Oh no, there's one more hollow. And then from the 22 blister packs, we got Espeon V, Rayquaza VMAX, Alternate Art. Amazing, amazing cards. We got a secret rare toy catcher, Leafeon V Max, and Zinnia's Resolve. So we basically got five secret rares in that box. We got Hollow Forges, three Vs, and a Reverse Hollow Raichu, which I needed. But that is crazy, guys! Check this out. This is the pull of the year. If you guys like my content and love opening packs with me, definitely like, subscribe to my channel, keep up to date with my latest content, and I'll see you in the next video and I'll open up some more evolving skies. See you next time, guys. Peace.